What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you missed the last one, we got this entire full runner front end straightened back out, got everything lined up, got the headlight rebuilt, and ordered a bunch of parts for it, like a grill, side marker lights, that kind of stuff. Still waiting for that. Shipping right now is so slow. So either way, I wanna get started mapping out this front bumper for this thing. I really don't have a plan right now as to how I want the bumper to look. I do have a few ideas. We're just gonna start building something and see what we can come up with. I know some of you guys are gonna be super excited about this. So I'm gonna make a winch bumper for this. So this, I picked up a Smitty built XRC. It's a 9,500 pound, very good price. I picked this thing up for like 325 bucks, I think. Four wheel parts has them, Amazon has them. I'll have it linked down below. Comes with everything. So a whole control box down here, all the wiring, some more wiring and what else in here? Yeah, looks like more wiring there, the whole controller. Uh, fair lead, a hook, everything you'll need for a winch. So this one actually has a steel cable. I may swap this out for a synthetic rope, but that's gonna be in the future. The synthetic ropes are just a lot stronger and safer and honestly way lighter. You probably save 20, 25 pounds just switching to a synthetic rope. So that is something I'll be doing in the future, but for now we can get started mapping this thing out. So what we gotta pull off is this whole front cross brace here basically the cross member that bolts onto the frame and then we got to figure out a winch plate so the thing i'm going to do is bolt it onto this main frame plate right here make the plate obviously here and then we'll have to figure out if the winch will fit this has a few different mounting options for this controller you can mount it right on top here you can mount it on either side and you can remote mount it too. So my idea so far is I put this thing on top and it's not gonna fit without sticking out into the grill area. So what I think I may do is just make a different mount on the bumper itself somewhere on the winch plate or something to mount this box. Or I've seen people extend the wires and mount them up in the engine bay somewhere, but there isn't really a whole lot of room on this thing. I would like it, you know, somewhere here or here, but there's not a whole lot of room. So we'll see once we get the winch in here, get the plate mounted, where we can mount that box. But for now, let's get this off and we'll start mapping out a winch plate. I right, guys got this main plate mount kind of halfway figured out so I'm gonna kind of bring you along with my thought process on this stuff so a lot of these bumpers that you buy like the coastal bumpers they require you to cut the main plate off the bumper which I wanted to avoid I wanted to make it fit the factory frame and be extremely strong so what I got is this main plate here that wraps around there's three bolts on the front here and then there's two bolts on the side right here so that'll wrap around two bolts there, three bolts there on both sides. And also having this plate kind of in the middle of the winch, I can gusset the front of it and gusset the back of it. And that will kind of spread out the weight of the winch and the pull of the winch on this main plate. And then also when I build the bumper, the shell of it, I can run this up at an angle here to tie into this front plate here. 
So designing it that way should be pretty strong. I don't see why they make you, a lot of these companies make you cut this main plate off and then just put a center bolt here. I feel like having the weight distributed around, along this plate with three bolts holding it on is stronger than having one bolt here. But that's my opinion. Either way, I'm no uh, rocket scientist, but I think this will be plenty strong to hold a winch on a 400 that's not extremely heavy. So I guess what we can get started with is cutting this main plate out. I still gotta figure out what to do with these angles here. And then also, it's gonna be kind of tricky. I'm gonna have to kind of plan this front section out to know where to end this main winch plate here so that when I come up, it ties in together nicely to the actual winch plate, holding everything together nice and sturdy. But for now, let's get this main plate cut out. I'm gonna do this all out of 3 16 for the winch plate and everything. And then the main shell will probably be eighth inch. At least the sides are gonna be eighth. I wanna keep it light. I don't want this thing, you know, sagging way down on the front. So all this winch plate stuff will be 3 16 and probably this main center section will be 3 16 And then, like I said, the sides will be eighth inch. All right, guys, did a little bit more messing around. So I dropped the winch down about a little over a quarter inch, and I'm able to get the control box mounted right on the side here, and it's clearing the grill by about a half inch. So I may have to trim the bumper around it just a little bit to get it to clear, but I think that should be enough clearance. So we should be good there. So now I just gotta kinda map out the front, which I kinda already started with. It's gonna be pretty similar to the other bumper I built, except a little bit bigger to actually fit the winch behind it. So the side profile might be something you now kind of similar to that right there. So we gotta figure that out, get it dialed in. But first of all, I wanna get done is build this whole plate and everything out of steel and so that I can bolt it on, tack it together, tack the, get this plate built, tack this together and get the winch mounted solid where it's gonna stay and then I can start building the bumper around it. All right, we got this main lower bracket, basically the mount to the frame figured out. So it's a little bit longer than four feet and four foot is the longest piece of 3 16 I have. So this is gonna have two bends in it, there and there. So either way, we're gonna have to cut it and weld it. So I think I'm just gonna cut that right there and then cut it here and then we'll just have to weld this little piece on there shouldn't be a big deal since we're cutting and welding it anyway so we'll get this cut out get the holes drilled get it mounted on the truck and then we can make the main winch plate on top of that
All right guys, got this all tacked together. So I actually decided to change my approach at this winch plate a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I made a mark here. I'm gonna cut this center out down about an inch and drop this whole winch down about an inch and then I'm gonna actually run the bottom plate of this will be the winch plate and then that's gonna actually be the main shell of the bumper. And then I'm gonna put some nice looking gussets, probably you know four gussets in, triangle gussets in here. And then also probably some tow hooks in here as well. And I think that'll look really good. It'll strengthen it up a lot and not having an extra plate in here will obviously save a little bit of weight. Not really worried about that, but just for access as well, for the bottom of the winch to actually bolt it in. I kind of wanted that open. If I have another plate here, I'm gonna have to cut big holes in it so I can reach up inside and get those bolts in and out for the winch. So that's gonna simplify taking the winch on and off. And also, it's gonna be a nightmare to paint in between if I completely block this off here like this and then down. I'm not gonna be able to paint inside of there. So. I think this way is gonna be a little more simple, a lot easier to actually bolt the winch on, and I think it'll look cool having some gussets down here instead of having the plate come all the way down. So, well, I'm gonna pull this back off, trim this down, and then I gotta to run to town, grab some more 3 16 to make this main center section that comes all the way up and around. So, let's get this trimmed up and see where this winch will sit. And also, it's gonna get a lot more clearance for the control box and you might honestly be able to mount it on top in the center of that winch but once we cut it out and drop it down we'll see if we can mount it on top in the center. All right guys, I got this main center section made out of cardboard, so it's gonna be something like that. And you can see the winch is gonna mount right in here. And then what I was talking about underneath, I'm gonna gusset, like do triangle gussets down from the main center section down to that mount. That'll strengthen everything up, and I think it'll look good too, so. This is the hardest part of the bumper right here. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna look good because just looking at this with a piece of cardboard on and no side pieces at all, it looks funny. It's hard to imagine what it would look like when the bumper's all done, but you just gotta kinda wing it, go with it, and hopefully it'll turn out right. So I put a couple angles in here, right here. I think that'll give it a little bit of accent. So I went and got some steel, and the freaking steel prices are outrageous right now, so I didn't want to get a whole sheet or have them cut a sheet, so I got some remnants. And I'm not gonna be able to build that whole center section out of one piece. Not a big deal. Uh, so I got these two pieces here. We gotta weld it anyway, so not a huge deal. But I think I'm gonna start with the bottom right here. We'll get this cut because honestly, this, this is almost a 90 degree bend here. It's kind of sloped out a little bit. But well, that's hard to bend. It takes forever to bend. You gotta cut it really deep. So you might as well just make it two pieces and weld together. So we'll make this bottom winch plate and then we'll get the holes in it for the winch, make sure everything fits, and then we'll build the rest of the center section. There we go, got that plate tacked on in place. So that is right where the winch is gonna sit. So we are looking very good for clearance. I wish I could bring it back just a little bit, but this main plate is right at the back of the winch right now. And if I go any farther back, I won't be able to get the bolt in because of that main plate. But I'd rather have a little bit more room than not enough because 
there's all these connectors on the back for all the wiring so we got to have room to be able to hook up the wires and we don't want it too close to the frame and potentially rubbing and arcing out onto the frame so that would not be good i'd rather have a little bit more room than not enough so looking pretty good so far so i'm going to keep going with this we'll come up and tie it into here and even just tacked on this thing is barely moving i think once we gusset along the whole bottom of this i might gusset the back as well just to give it a little bit more strength and then yeah it should be pretty stout All right, guys just cut up some gussets for this main center section which i got on and looking amazing so far so this gusset is going to sit all the way in here and gusset the entire bumper into the mount and really strengthen everything up and also there is enough room to get your hand in behind here if you need to reach up into the winch at all also, I am going to put holes in the front for access to the winch because there's the clutch you need to adjust and then you got to be able to plug in your controller. So I think before I weld these gussets in, I'm going to throw a bead in here just to fully weld that because that will kind of be blocked off. Once I pull the bumper off, I might be able to get back in there, but I might as well just throw a bead on it real quick right now. We'll get that out of the way. And then everything up here, I'm going to be able to get through the back once I pull the bumper off. So not a big deal, just run a bead here and then we can tack these gussets in place. All right guys, I think I got this side looking how I want it. So I made this other side last night and I didn't really like it. It was sticking out a little too far and it just kind of makes the bumper look kind of big. So on the left side, I uh, cut some angles out of the bottom piece and it kind of makes the bumper look a little bit smaller. I sucked it in a little bit more towards the actual forerunner you can see probably about an inch farther in. So I think I like that. Um, so now we just gotta make it out of steel. And like I said, I'm gonna make these sides out of eighth inch plate just because I wanna save a little bit of weight and it's not really tied into the whole winch mounting system at all. It's just the sides. So it doesn't really need to be extremely strong. 
And you'll underestimate eighth inch once you do all this triangulation and have it welded together. It is actually extremely stout. So let's get eighth inch plate out. We'll cut all these sides. And to be completely honest, I think I may just piece these in instead of bending it all. It takes so much more time to bend it. And really the only thing that's saving in the future is grinding it when you're done. But that really doesn't take too long if you can do a decent weld on it. So I think I'm just gonna piece it together and not have to worry about trying to bend it because it's actually quite difficult to get all these angles right, get all the bends in the exact right spot for everything to line up perfectly. The other bumper turned out really good, but it took a lot of time to get these sides dialed in perfect. So I think I'm just gonna cut these separate pieces, tack them into place, and that'll be the easiest way to do it. All right guys, got the bumper all tacked together. So my next step is I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna make the gussets for the bottom and also the hooks that I'm gonna kinda run up from the bottom up into here. And one other thing I did is I put a plate on the bottom right here. You can see right there. So that's gonna tie in this whole kinda side section to help strengthen it up. So once we get this thing fully welded, I think it'll be very, very stout. So Let's pull the bumper off. We'll get the gussets made, get those tacked in place. And then we gotta cut some holes for the fair lead. I already got it marked out here. So we gotta cut those. We gotta cut, I wanna put pods in the corners here. And then, like I said, I wanna put holes right here to access into the winch.
right, we got these built. So this is the half inch plate that I cut these little hooks out of. Honestly, this might be my favorite part of this bumper. So these are gonna mount just like that side, just right down in here and tie everything in. So this is tying in the mount, the main mount to the frame into the winch plate, into this main plate. And it's already gusseted back here, but this half inch plate definitely is gonna help out with strength. So got a hole in it here for a hook so we can hook our line to it for the winch. So I'm really liking the look so far with these gussets. I also put a few in the back and those are right in line with the winch mount bolt. So I figured that was probably the best spot for them. And then we have plenty of access to the bottom of the winch to bolt it in. All right, I'm getting ready to cut the hole in the front for this fairy lead. So we're gonna mount that right about there. I got the holes drilled to mount it and then I drilled a pilot hole on either side of the main big hole in the center. And I am going to use a hole saw, cut the ends out, get a nice round end on it. And then we'll just cut the center out with a cutoff wheel. That'll be the easiest and cleanest way to do that. I think we're done fabbing stuff together. So I made up these little light pockets here that we can mount a pod right up top here. You can see the hole up top. I actually got this side mounted already, bolted in there. So I really like the look of it, having all this plate inside of here, especially with the angle back. I think that'll look really good once it's all done. So I think we're done. I think we can start just fully welding this thing together. And I am gonna take this very, very slow. Both of the other bumpers I built for that green Raptor line truck, they both warped a little bit and I was just kind of in a hurry, you know, welding it together. So this one, I am going to just take my time. I'm going to start with this main center section here, get all these gussets welded in, get this whole center welded. And I'll probably do like four inches of bead, four inches over here, and then I'll let it completely cool off to the touch. And then I'll come back and I'll do more. On that last bumper, I was just kind of jumping around here, 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 putting a lot of heat into it, and it ended up warping a little bit. So it wasn't that bad, but definitely warped it a little bit. So I'm gonna try everything I can to get this thing welded and have it completely straight when I'm done.
There we go guys, got this bumper all welded up, sanded smooth. I still wanna go around and get all this mill scale off of these sides. The center doesn't have it with the 3 16ths, but the eighth has some mill scale, so I wanna get that off, but it is looking good. I wanna get this thing back on the Forerunner, make sure nothing warped when I welded it, and just make sure everything is good, make sure all the bolts still line up. I wanna get the winch in the bumper, get both on the truck and go do a couple pulls with the winch. Make sure everything is gonna stay put in place. So let's get the shop cleaned up a little bit and we'll get the forerunner back in here. Get this back on and see what we're looking like. All right, before I throw the bumper back on the truck, I wanna weigh it. I'm curious to see what it weighs without a winch. I know the winch is like 65 pounds. I'm gonna guess this bumper is say 95 pounds or so. We'll throw it on the scale and see what it weighs. I know it's gonna be heavier than the other front. It's got a lot more gussets. It's got thicker steel and just a lot beefier bumper. The bumper I built for the green truck weighed like 68 or 70 pounds or something. So I'm gonna guess probably 20, 25 pounds heavier for this. So let's see what it weighs. Hey, that was pretty close. We are 92 pounds and 11 ounces, so not bad. Once we get the winch in, it'll be right about 150 pounds, unless I swap that cable out for a synthetic rope. That'll drop it, I think 20, 25 pounds, so probably about 120, 130 pounds all said and done with the winch. So really not a bad weight for a bumper. Well, we got the bumper back on and it is fitting really good. So taking time, welding it, letting it cool off definitely helps out a lot. So basically lines up how I had it. So pretty happy about that. We have one little issue. I didn't realize that the control box was mounted here. And then when I put that brace in here, I can't plug in the box to the cable. So I had to unbolt that for now. I'm gonna have to trim that gusset in there to be able to plug this in. So not a huge deal, but everything's mounted up and wired in. So let's get this thing out. I'm gonna hook up to a tree and just do a couple pulls with it. Make sure everything stays put. Make sure everything is working like it should. Well, we did a pull. Bumper is still in the truck. It's actually not moving at all. It doesn't budge, so very happy. Should be sturdy enough. I'm sure my cable's chewing up the ferry lead, but not a big deal. We are working. I guess the last thing we gotta do is just trim that gusset, like I said, and then we gotta get some paint on it and we'll be done. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Bumper is done, so next video we gotta pull it off get it primed and painted, and then we can mount up our lights, wire in the winch, all that good stuff, get it 100%. But that is gonna wrap up this video. So another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is the bumper on a stock 4Runner or stock truck. I had the same issues when I built the bumper for the Raptor lined green truck. It always looks a little bit funny with small wheels and tires, no lift. And then once I did the lift and wheels and tires on that green truck, that bumper really came to life and I really think the same thing is gonna hold true with this bumper as well. With no lift, no big wheels and tires, the bumper just appears a lot bigger. So I think once we get a lift and wheels and tires on this thing, the bumper's really gonna look that much better. If you guys like this bumper, just like the other bumpers I built for the other truck, I made a set of templates for it and bumper plans. So go head over to avrcustoms.com if you wanna check that out. They are up on the site, ready to go. And that's one reason why it took me so long to get this bumper video out doing the bumper itself and building the plans for it at the same time 
I'm over a week into it, so I'm glad we're finally at this point. Now we just gotta finish it up, paint it, and we'll be done with it. Well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.